Today we find out how much it costs to live in your town on the National Real Estate Cafe. That's right. So yeah, it's kind of, this is a fun chart we're going to show you it, because I bet you always wonder, what is the percentage? How much of my income do I need to be able to own a home? And it depends on the state you're in. Now, there won't be a shocker. Let me think. Gina, what state do you think probably has the highest payment to income ratio? Mm. Mm. The one with the best weather, the one with the most expensive taxes, oh, the yeah. one with the most expensive almost everything. That yeah, now would make sense. All right, let's jump, let's jump on this. So their payment to income ratio. So sure enough, of course, California leads the packet. You basically, third, over a third of your paycheck needs to go to your mortgage for you to be able to afford a home. Yeah, it's very difficult in California. You definitely are uh, a little bit house poor. Uh, if you want to own a home. However, this doesn't take into consideration the actual appreciation, growth, and wealth that it'll build. This is strictly payment to income ratio. So if you were to adjust it and take away the appreciation part of it, that would drive this number down. That's a good point. So you look at the 36% for California, and then you look at what's supposed to be now just rated one of the best states in the nation to live, which is Minnesota. If you like ah. ice fishing, Hey, the summers are great. <laughs> summers are great. It's a beautiful state. We've been there. Uh, it's half, half the amount of your income needs to go towards your housing payment. Yeah, but you also have half, half the, the income, year of the income. Half the income. <laughs> Here's the thing. That's an important part, Gino, is that a lot of times you see these things, oh, why don't I just live in Iowa or why don't I just live in versus California because it's so much cheaper? Well, it's relative. In most cases, your income to what you're paying for a home is relative. And that's a big piece. A lot of people live in California, one, of course, for the weather, but two, the jobs. There were some of the highest paying jobs, just like New York City, Washington, D.C., and so forth. A lot of it is relativity. And the thing is, uh, the reality is, as a sociological experiment, people like to live in urban areas. Not everybody's okay living in suburban areas. We're social beings and we want to be together. In fact, uh, we read an article not too long ago about California. Only 6% of the land in California is populated, but we're all like on top of each other. And you have these high density areas like you do in New York. Well, that's because we all want to live by the beach. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> all right, so check out the, uh, the slide again, share with your friends, see what your state is ranked, and uh, make sure you check in with us daily. You get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885, or? Or, actually, if you want to find out more and find out why and how long we've been doing this and if we've been accurate, go look at some of our old shows. Go to donandgino.com, go to the National Real Estate Cafe button, and you'll see a catalog of three years of shows. How about about our YouTube channel. Over 2,000 videos and interviews with some of the top professionals around the nation. We're keeping you in the know right here in the National Real Estate Cafe.